Hello everyone, this is Fi. Right now I'm checking out Slashy Game. This is part of the AGDG Demo Day 22. This is apparently a very early build. I don't know anything about this, but uh, Paige simply says Demo Day 22 entry, it's horrible, but shouldn't take you more than a few minutes to beat. Please bully. Additionally, it also says Z to attack, X to jump. So that's all we get for information here. Nonetheless, uh, we're gonna try this out. I guess it's keyboard controls. All right, interesting. Um, so I have not seen anything past the screen. Let's get rid of the mouse here, I guess. Maybe arrow keys and Z or an X. All right, so we've got this cute little chibi model here. Uh, I guess these are, oh, these are not walls. Kind of like there's a little bit of forgiveness or something on the edge here. I can kind of <laughs> get my feet off the edge there and it doesn't quite fall. Um, <clears throat> right, so right off the bat we got some interesting kind of slash animations. These don't really seem very effective. <laughs> I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Um, I might actually do it on the cat. Well, I don't know if anything else is going to be loud. Preemptively, let's turn that up. Maybe you can hear. Very quiet sound effect here. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, really quite silly. Um, the jump is a bit floaty too, it kind of goes up and down a bit slow. Um, it also doesn't look like you have a variable jump height, so it always jumps the same height. Even if you press the jump button quickly. I guess we just attack this. We got combos here. Um, All right, ooh, I tried to jump. I don't know why I didn't jump just then. Maybe it's because I was walking down the slope. Yeah, that must be it. So I think when you walk off, start to walk on the slope, you kind of go a little airborne probably. And then because you're not on the ground, it doesn't register the jump. So thankfully getting in the water doesn't seem to harm me or anything. Uh, looks like I can just kind of cheat and grab these little star thingies here, which I don't know if those actually do anything. All right, I think I took some damage there. There wasn't any indication of an attack or uh, no audio visual effect for taking a hit that I noticed. So it's weird how she kind of, once you start spamming that button, she kind of rotates in a different direction. So it's kind of weird. Uh, okay, they're gonna launch themselves off here. I don't really know how to approach combat except to walk up to things and mash the button. So I guess this is a wall here, it's kind of funny looking, being occluded like that. Um, I guess that's just a floating plane here. Now I don't know if this... So this isn't a block that I can attack. It's just kind of there. A cute little bridge here. I guess I could go over here if I want to, right? And if I fall off, it's just going to respawn me right there, right? Yeah. I like that kind of bright, colorful water. Looks like we're in some kind of a structure at this point. Um, I'm not sure where I'm meant to go. This kind of looks like a dead end. Okay, now the sword isn't moving. Now the sword has <laughs> become detached from my arm. Hey, oh, suddenly there's lava. Wait, this looks familiar. This is like the uh, the first Bowser stage from Super Mario sixty four. <laughs> What is this? Oh, that falls down. I'm like, am I supposed to jump and grab that? Do I just wait for it or what? Do I have to... Oh, maybe, maybe when I attacked it, it fell down or something. It wasn't really clear. Well, when I 
I don't know if it's because I attacked it or because I touched it. I'm also getting kind of stuck on the edge a little bit when I jump on these for some reason. Right here. It's kind of weird. Alright, I must be attacking. There's not really any indication that my attack is what's triggering this. Ooh, there's also... Um, oh yeah, that's frustrating. So something that happens in games like this is... Um, if you uh, press jump like immediately after you run off an edge, then it won't register because you're not like on the ground anymore of course but uh it's really easy to to do that accidentally so what a lot of games do when they have platforming is they have a little bit of a a buffer so that um just for a couple frames after your feet leave the ground you can press jump and it'll still jump so it's just kind of a little forgiveness or i don't <laughs> it's kind of weird the idea that you have to like kill yourself to get this to fall down I don't know if that's what the intended way for it is or what. Big black thing. Oop, I guess that was a... Oh! I guess I get to fight someone. The little devil lady. She's got some orbs floating around her. These. Uh, it's unfortunate this uh, little corner here is kind of washed out so you can't really see <laughs> where the the part you can walk off. Ends. I guess she's just gonna kind of stand there then. All right, there's balls coming out. Whoa! Oh, different attacks here. Looks like it's following me. I guess. So I guess I'm just kind of run around and keep moving whenever she's attacking and then should be safe. Alright, um, that little ledge right next to the throne is kind of frustrating though. Like I want more area. Oh, I can't even jump up there. I feel like I should have a little more area to run around in here. Oh, this boss has a lot of health. I just noticed the health bar at the bottom. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of health. Oh gosh, that did a lot of damage to me. Oh crap, I don't want to die because I don't I have no interest in starting over if it's gonna force me to. Oh, at least she's doing something different. That's cool. Wait. <laughs> there was supposed to be phase two, but I couldn't finish in time. You went, okay. <laughs> That's pretty humorous. Um, <laughs> I actually really like that, how the giant text just kind of appears. Uh, so yeah, that was interesting. Um, I mean, the, the, the boss has some semblance of, of some interesting things, the different attacks and stuff. Uh, everything's kind of slow. It doesn't really feel like there's much impact to it. Um, like all the motion of everything, including the character and everything, just kind of feels very linear. It's not really that interesting, uh, but um, there's definitely some ideas in there, so I could definitely see it being fun with more polish. It's obviously very early, but um, yeah, if you could just figure out some simple combat elements that would kind of feel good and, and just work with those. I think with these sorts of simple bosses where you can focus on avoiding attacks and stuff, that could be pretty uh, engaging. So yeah, be interesting to see uh, what else you have in store here. I 
definitely put some work into the the primary attack here to make it kind of more functional and like a proper animation and maybe some some other timing element to it rather than just kind of spamming it endlessly because it's just not very interesting to just mash the key rapidly as an attack you know even something really simple like just like a three hit combo kind of thing and it just has like a a bit of a pause afterwards so you you know you don't you're not forced to just mash the key over and over again you can kind of have a, a clear space of time wherein you can attack and then you can think about what you're going to do next after that if you're going to do another combo or you're going to start moving or whatever uh, that sort of thing so yeah uh interesting game hopefully you found this useful and let me know if you have any questions for me or anything so i will see you guys in the next video